Hey everybody, tap tap here. Somebody asked which uh, creatures I'd like to see added to Abyssrium, so I decided to make a little top 10 list. Um, there's a few species that I really want to see, and uh, Cheetah Mobile's actually done a very good job at adding most of the creatures that I wanted to see, but there's still a few missing. So um, the first I'd like to see is uh, Cenophores, which are very similar to jellyfish, but they're very beautiful creatures. Um, here's one. I really love the, the rainbow kind of diffracting through it. That's a great photo. These are, I'm just kind of looking through Wikipedia here um, just to get some, you know, uh, copyleft license images. Um, these are really pretty, and uh, some of these are bioluminescent, some of the more deep sea ones. Uh, one thing in general, there's a good bioluminescent one. Um, one thing in general that Abyssrium is missing is bioluminescent fish, which is a really strange omission for something with abyss in the name. Um, I know they like to call it tap tap fish now, but uh, wouldn't you love to see one of these in your tank? Uh, we already got some jellies. I really love the moon jelly, but uh, I'd love to see a few more of these. We, we're pretty lacking in terms of uh, jellyfish. Um, my second most wanted one is a little bit similar, but uh, Savannaphore. Uh, the most common one is the Portuguese, or the most well-known one rather, is the Portuguese Man of War. Um, what these are is actually a collection of smaller organisms that kind of act as a single greater one. And a lot of them look really surreal and uh, they're very pretty. Um, these are mostly drawings here. But um, I've seen a, f a couple of these. Uh, they're always a good sight on the uh, Okeanos Explorer. Um, underwater like live stream cam thing uh, they they look really strange and uh, I would love to see one of the more man of war is kind of an obvious choice uh, it wouldn't be my first choice I mean look at this guy wouldn't you want this thing in your tank I, I like the more surreal looking ones it's kind of it's a big reason I like the uh, I like this uh, phylum or an order actually um, the third I would like to see is um, feather stars, aka crinoids, which are both mobile and non-mobile, so they could make a good coral. Um, this is a tethered one. They have these beautiful feathery appendages going out. Um, there's a really good video that National Geographic has here of um, a feather star. Sort of, its this is its early stage, and it just looks like a mass of feathers. Like it looks like some sort of interpretation of a freaking you know seraphim or something it it's i just i really like the more surreal um looking creatures of the sea if you didn't notice already but uh, i'd really love to see these in either form um i i think fish are a lot more fun to add than coral so i'd like to see their you know untethered form in the game but uh they're both really cool looking there's a whole bunch of different there we go they come in a bunch of different colorations and stuff they make a good coral uh, the coral in the game are kind of a bit boring, honestly, considering they could add a few more things like this. Like, you know, there's a lot of, like, the blue table coral that are just that plain, you know, boring stuff. Um, I would also love to see some more sea snakes and eels. There's sort of, there's one eel now that's basically unobtainable, the gulper eel. That you need CS vitality to get, but uh, sea snakes are really cool. Um, might be a little spooky for some people. But um, I would really love to see more sea snakes, and because they got the the oarfish is kind of a serpentine thing, um, and they kind of fixed its animations finally, so it looks not like garbage. And um, I would love to see some more eels, some sne sea snakes, you know, stuff like that. You know, a moray eel is a pretty you know standard uh, sea creature, so it's kind of odd we don't even have one of those yet. And the next one is a bit spooky, the sea spider. I love these things. Um, it is very spider-like, yes. It's not technically related in any way to spiders. It's just, it has eight legs, looks spider-like. Um, but these things are really cool. They look, um, they had to have been an inspiration for the, um, the Xenomorph face hugger in Alien. Uh, I just look at them. But I would love to see some more of these. And just more generally, I would like to see more, like, you know bottom feeder like things crawling around on the ground like um you know they have the uh giant isopod but i'd like to see some crabs some lobsters um the spider crab would be a cool addition too i love i like 
huge creatures too. Like that was all. Those were always my favorite in Animal Crossing when you could catch things and like some of the fish would be really big. Those would always be my favorite, even if they were like the colacanth in that or coelacanth. Yeah, I think that's how you say that. Um, you know, just bigger fish make more of an impact, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, these are pretty much my top five currently. Um, they added most of my previous top five in the last update. Um, these ones are a bit more from left field. I don't think most people are familiar with, you know, Siphonophores. I mean, you know, people know the Man of War, but I don't think people know what it is exactly. You know, it's just a jellyfish to most people. Um, it's not actually a jellyfish either, by the way. Um, but yeah, I would I'd love to see these. But like my, my previous wants were like, I really wanted to see eels, which, you know, we got one. Um, I really wanted to see sea dragons, which fortunately we got a lot of. That was that was really nice. Sea dragons are some of my favorites. Um, what else did we get that was cool? I, I like I really like the better animation on the one thousand year old blue whale. It's a shame that it's basically you know unobtainable. Uh, the basking shark is cool. I love those. Um, but it, it was a bunch of good picks the last round. Uh, the sea pig is nice too. I'd like to see some more. We could see some more cool sea slugs, like there's the the rabbit sea slug is pretty cool looking too. But yeah, there, there's a lot of really cool creatures out there that they could add, and uh, th that's my current top uh, top five, I suppose. But yeah, hopefully they'll keep adding cool stuff. I've been pretty impressed. I, I have my issues with Cheetah Mobile, but so far in terms of things they've added, in terms of like species they've added, they've been doing a pretty good job in my opinion. But uh, that's, that's what I would personally like to see.